How can we write SQL queries using numeric function? What are numeric function and what all types of numeric function SQL provides to the user? Hello everyone, this is Sukanya from GoEduHub Technologies and today we are going to discuss that how can we write SQL queries using numeric function. So what are numeric function? The function which are used to perform operation on numbers and the written type is also a number. The very first function is ABS function. It returns the absolute value of a number. For example, if I want to calculate the absolute value of 2, then it is 2. So let me run this query in my command line. That I want to calculate the absolute value of 2. And when I press enter, I can see the absolute value of 2 is 2 because there is no rounding of or there is no truncating of number. So the absolute value is 2. The next numeric function is a cos. a cos returns the cosine of a number. The cosine value of number is returned with the help of a cos function. So when I execute this query in my command line, I can see that the cos value of 1 is mentioned. The cos value of 1 is 0, that is a cos function. A sine function returns the arc sine of a number, that is sine value of a number. So when I execute this query in my command line, I can see the sine value of 1, which is 1.5707 and so on. The next numeric function is a tan. It returns the arc tangent of a number, the tan theta value of a particular number. Suppose I want to know the tan value or the tangent of number 1, then I can execute this query and I can get the value of tan of that particular number. Seal. What does seal function do? It returns the smallest integer value that is greater than or equal to that number. For example, if I want to check the seal value for minus 6.43, then it will return me the greater than or the smallest integer value of that particular number. So when I execute this query, the smallest integer value for this number is minus 6. Similarly, the sealing value for 3.46, which is a positive number, it returns the smallest value and that is greater than or equal to that number. So the smallest value of ceiling of this number is 4. The next function is cos. Cos, as we all know, is a trigonometric function which returns the cosine of a number. We can select the cos for 90 and check what the value is. So if I execute this query in my command line, I can see that cos 90 value is given to me, which is minus 0 0.4480 and so on. It returns the cosine of any particular number. Here the number is 90. Similarly, cot returns the cotangent, which is the inverse of tangent or tan. So if I want to check the value of cot 1, then I can run this query in my SQL command line and see the result. So the cot of 1 is 0 0.64 and the rest of the values. Degrees. What does degrees function do? It converts a radian value into a degree. That means the value given between the parentheses is a radian value. It will change the value into degrees. So if I want to check the degree value of 3, it is 171.88. Hence, the conversion of radian value into degrees is being done with the help of degree function. Divide, as we all know, is used for integer division. And if I want to divide 10 with 5, then it will return me the value 2. And when I run this command, I can see that it returns to me. Next function is exp function. It returns e raised to the power of number. The exponential number of the function is returned with this exp function. When I run this query in my command line, I can see that the exponent of 1, which is e raised to the power number, is 2.71. Next function is floor function. 
it returned the largest integer value that is less than or equal to that number. So the largest integer value using the floor function is it is different from ceiling function. It refers the smallest, but this refers the largest value. So the largest floor value is 2.75 is 2. The next is greater. If I want to find the greatest value in a particular series of number in a list of expression, then I can find it with the help of the function greatest. And when I execute this query in my command line, I can see that the greatest among the values 30, 2, 6, 81 and 12 is 81 respectively. The next function is least. Least returns the smallest value. It is exact opposite of the greatest. Greatest returns the largest value. Least returns the smallest value. That means it will return 2. So when I execute this query in my command line of SQL, I can see that the least value is given. That is 2. 2 is the least value in the given list of numbers. The next function is ln function. It returns the natural logarithm of a number. If I want to fetch the value of log 2, natural log 2, then it is done with the help of ln function. There is no base, that's why it is natural log. So natural value of log or log 2 value is 0 0.69 and so on. The next is log to the base 10. Log to the base 10 of any number is calculated with the help of log 10 function. And when I execute this query in my SQL command line, I can see that log to the base 10 value returns 2.30. So if you want to calculate any value and it returns the base number 10 logarithm of any number, that is done with the help of log 10 function. Log 2 is for the base 2. When the base is 2 of the logarithm of any number, then it is done with the help of log 2. Mod function returns the remainder of the division of 2 number. Mod always in the modulo division we have also studied that it returns as the remainder of the 2 number. So if I am going to divide 12 with 4, so there is no remainder because it is exactly divisible. So it is returning me 0. The next is pi. It returns the pi displayed with six decimal places. The value of pi fun is dis displayed with the help of pi function. That what is the value of pi? And it returns six place values after the decimal point. Next function is power function. Power function is if you want to return m raised to the power n, then it get returns with the help of power function. For example, if you want to calculate 3 to the power 2, then it comes to 9. So let's run this query in our SQL command line. Yes, 3 to power 2 is 9. 3 square is 9. So that is calculated. All the square root and cube roots and all such things of power is calculated with the help of power function or PWO function. Radians. We have converted radians to degrees. Now we can convert a value in degree to radians. So for that, radians function is used. And if I run this query in my SQL command line, then I can see that 360 has been converted now into radians, a degree value, a value in degree to the value in radians. Next function is random. It is used to generate any random number from the system. This is not much in use, but still we should know about it. So to generate any random number at a given point of time in your system, we can use a random function. Round function, round as the name symbolizes, it returns a number rounded to certain number of decimal places. If you want to round a particular number, then you can just round it to particular decimal places. For example, if you want to round 5.553, then you can execute this following query in the SQL command line and it has been round to 6. The next is sign. It returns the value indicating the sign of the number. If a number is positive, then it is returning as 1. And if the number is negative, then it returns as 0. So, select sign 
and the following number inside it and if i want to execute this query then the sign is positive as it is a positive number and if here i give minus then it returns me minus 1 because it is a negative sign value next is sign function sign is to calculate the returns the sign of a particular number just like cosine tangent cotangent similarly sign is also a trigonometric function the next is square root if you want to check you want to return the square root of an of a number then it is done with the help of sqrt function so if i have a number and i want to check that who, which is the square root of this number then i can help do that with the help of sqrt function so 144 is the square root of 12 similarly if i want to check for 169 then it is the square root of 13 next is a tan it returns the arc tangent of x and y coordinate as an angle expressed in radians so if i want to check the a tan value of 71 so it will return me the arc tangent of x and y so if i run this query in my sql command line and check that whether it returns the arc tangent of x and y coordinate as an angle expressed in radians so let me execute this query in my command line here you can see that the arc tangent of number 71 is returned as it is expressed in radians the last numeric function is truncate it doesn't works for sql server it returns 7.536535 truncated to two places to the right decimal so if i execute this query truncate query and i execute this command and i want to round it to two decimal places i have specified that how many decimal places i want to round it and when i execute this query i can see that the truncate has been done to two places the rest of the number has been removed or it has truncated these are the numeric functions which are to be used in the following sql queries they are very simple but the thing is we have to keep remembering them that where to use which function to return the following value in the return type numbers for more queries we will look into other videos thank you